Uh, approach processing stack is important, but the animation clips are godlike. I can't... How do you make these animation clips? I mean, these aren't anything spectacular. I mean, honestly, to get this light to rotate, I believe I did that through the animation window. That's one I made. And it was just a matter of... What is that clip even on? Oh, I don't have it on anything right now. But it was just a matter of record mode, move, move the scrubber, move, move the scrubber. You know, pretty simple there. The people walking around there are just walk animations from the uh, asset store. Uh, the camera stuff was all animated within you. Like, so there's nothing really extreme. It's like I showed you before. It's just sort of record mode, move, record, move, record, move, record. Um, you know, not like these, right? All I did was I just... I moved the scrubber to here in record mode. I set the weight to zero. I moved it to here, set it to one, one, zero, and then that was that. So nothing too extreme there. Just takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of familiarity with the tools, but yeah, good stuff. Where can we download this project? Unfortunately, we can't share this project because it's a whole bunch of people's stuff from the asset store, and they'd probably get really mad with us if we just gave away all of their assets for free. All said and done, like I said at the beginning, it was about $200 worth of assets from the asset store to buy all of these things, whether, you know, even if we just used a, a one tiny little piece from it or whatever. There's tons of free stuff in the asset store. You could do the same thing with just, with anything, really. Free asset packs, cubes. I mean, most of this is cubes. Right? I showed you earlier. These are cubes. Um, you know, a lot of stuff can be done with just rudimentary things. This is a prototyping phase, right? You're not, you're not doing everything all at once with all final stuff. These are just pieces, mismatched pieces from all over the place. So yeah, it, you don't need a lot of really cool stuff to get started. Uh, and, and again, to kind of wrap back around to the original question, which is why we can't distribute it because it's all just stuff from the asset store. How long did it take to complete all the animations for this? The animations that I added, it took me about like 10 minutes. The character animations are probably just came with the character models. Uh, I can't speak to the camera animation that was in here because I didn't make that part. Whoever uh, made that part, who animated the camera. But if I'm looking at it, it's you know, one, two, three, four, five keyframes. So I can't imagine it was too complex to make. Now the other part where we're using Cinemachine, the, in the Cinemachine scene, Adam Hill said it took him like a couple hours to build both of those. So again, not too crazy. What do you have to do to have those post-processing stack features imported into Unity? Is there a newer package in the asset store? Okay, yeah, so let me actually open this up here. So if you go to, uh, let me show you this here. Uh, if you go to GitHub, so the Unity Technologies post-processing, for whatever reason, the address bar is missing. There we go. So that's the link right there. Uh, this is branch V2. You can just switch over to branch V2 and hit clone or download. That's the version. That's not the one on the asset store. That It's quote unquote still in beta, but it's very stable. It's probably more stable than V1 actually. And that's where we have all the volumes and stuff like that. So what I'm using in here is post-processing effects stack version two. And that's where you can get it. Is there a link from the Unity? So there is post-processing effect, but that's V1 on GitHub or on the asset store. So otherwise you can just grab the one from GitHub. Where do I start if I want to write my own custom post uh, effects? If you, again, go to the GitHub, uh, there's a quick start guide right here, writing custom effects. They're really easy to do. Um, you do have to have some knowledge of writing shaders, but assuming you can do that or find a shader that you like, uh, writing an effect to sort of encapsulate that shader is pretty simple. Can we have uh, Durain FX? I need to check it out. Uh, I don't know how much work needs to go into the code to make it sort of modular. It's really just built to be an example of, look, you can make, you know, custom post effects. So I'll have to see, you know, how well it works otherwise. Oh, okay. How do you control the animations from, from timeline? Let me go to timeline here. Let me hop over to characters. And so again, basically what we have, right? If I just look here, let me just zoom out of this timeline is we have all these characters, right? And then we have their animations. So if I were doing this again, uh, let's, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and now the you know, where do I want to add this? Let's add this to this animations one here. So I'm going to come down to, I've got this search light right there. I'll mute that. And if I was recreating it, this is basically how you do it. All right. So I have my search light right there and the body is the part that actually animates. So I'll just drag that onto there. What do I want to make? I want to make an animation track. There we go. And so now I'm going to right click and say, Hey, from animation clip, and oh man, I don't remember what I named the clip. Uh, what did I name that clip? Uh, I named that clip Probe Scan. Okay, so uh, right click from animation clip, Probe Scan. These are all 
animations that either made in Unity or imported with models. So there we go. There's probe scan. So now, if I look, there we go. It's animating. Any of the parts where I don't have the animation, you see it's not moving. If I wanted to, I could, you know, loop it just like that. All right? Pretty simple. I could cut it short. So I can have it only do part of the animation, then it just sort of freezes there. Um, I could choose to not have it freeze. I could choose it uh, post uh, extrapolate uh, ping pong. There we go. Just ping pong forever. I'm just thought it to just extrapolate. Hey, just do that. Whatever. So again, very simple. Drag and then create a clip, drag a clip on there, whatever. Cannot be simpler than that. Very, very straightforward. Hopefully that, that helps there. There you go. Can you make animation clips with timeline recording? Uh, yes, sort of. So not built in right now. However, we do have a package on GitHub called animation recording that specifically is our part of our generic recorder, our frame recorder that allows us to do that. And so um, you can check that out. I believe it was demoed at Unite. But yes, we have a recorder that allows us to sort of record generically just about anything. We use it to record a video, but we can also record animations and stuff like that. So pretty slick stuff there. I see maybe just a couple other questions, but I'm going to end the stream here because it's kind of running on and uh, I'll stick around and chat a little bit longer. Otherwise, thank you all very much for coming out. I really do appreciate you all taking the time to come and watch the live stream here. I uh, will just toss this up one more time. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, please feel free to follow us, message us on Twitter at uh, Unity3D, at The Ant Ranch, at Matt Mirafish, and at Mike Geig. My name is Mike Geig. And I just messed up my screen there. There we go. And uh, I will see you all later. Thank you all very much.